said and i'm like only person that knew about that was me and him so i don't understand why would he go around telling everybody what i did and then i was so <laughs> hey y'all welcome back to my channel i am brenda j hey y'all so today's video is going to be a little different i told y'all i was going to start coming on here differently so i hope you guys enjoy these next upcoming videos but i want to talk about something so as by the title you can see that i was exposed so basically um i was scrolling through tiktok and i was just watching tiktoks as usually and then it was a question that a girl had asked um like random people and the question was if you had five minutes to meet god face to face what would be your question for him so i i was like oh okay i never i never really even thought about that so i had asked my husband when he was in the bathroom i was like hey babe um what is something that you would ask god you know blah blah, blah. so my husband was like um I would ask him why he didn't prevent slavery. So I was like, what? Like, if you got five minutes with God, like, why would that be the only thing you ask him? But looking back, I wish I'd never done that. I feel like as a wife supportive, I should have, you know, asked him what, babe, why, why did you feel that way? Why you feel like that would be the only question that you ask God? you know but i didn't do that i sh basically shot down his feelings and how he feel what would he ask god so i definitely don't recommend any woman if you're married to do your spouse like that um because i was out of order and now looking back i owe my husband apology you know so um i answered my answer was i will ask god what will prevent me from going to heaven because you know the smallest thing can actually stop you from going to heaven and i wanted to know like i wanted to know was i was on track what i was doing um is i'm fulfilling my purpose that god had for me like i need to know like you know what's stopping me from going to heaven and when i tell you y'all like i did not expect god to answer me so i went to sleep and i when i went to sleep God was showing me in my dream because I have something coming up for y'all and I can't speak on it right now, but you guys will see it soon. But basically I thought that's why I was having the dreams that I was having because of what I was doing. But God was showing me like when I tell y'all, God started showing people faces. Like he was bringing people up in my dreams that I was holding a grudge against that i didn't realize that i didn't I, I didn't realize that i did not forgive these people like when i tell you y'all i was so embarrassed so god showed me a few people in the first dream um and it's crazy because honestly god those people hurt me like really bad and no it's not my ex-husband um, it wasn't my ex-husband that God showed me. It was a few people. Like, when I tell y'all, if I tell y'all the stories behind, I'm actually going to do story times on each of these person, And because it's going to help me to finally let go and forgive them. And it's going to help me release how I feel about these people. You get what I'm saying? So, um, so it's like the first set of people he showed me, I was like, oh my god and one of the people that he did show me it wasn't the fact that i forgave him oh no 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 that's not true because i was very hurt like i was hurt because my parents my mom and my stepdad end up telling me what was said and i'm like only person that knew about that was me and him so i don't understand why would he go around telling everybody what i did and then i was so i was only like 16 years old like why would he say that about me and it's crazy because I didn't realize I never forgave that man and he's dead. And I and I still was holding that in my heart. And I didn't know I didn't realize it. And that's why it's important to ask God to expose you. Like have him to expose you to you so that you can know what's stopping you from going to heaven. So the second um set of people that he um he showed me, it was one particular lady that he showed me. Um thinking about the situation actually hurted me even the more because the one of the ladies that he showed me it was a woman that told my husband not to marry me 
and her and her friend told my husband that he got more to lose than I do. So, and that's because I'm HIV positive, of course. I had children, I was pregnant with one and I had a baby already from my past marriage. I came with a lot of trauma. And she told my husband not to marry me, her and her friend. And I didn't realize that I was still holding that because even in the scene in my vi in my um, video, it's the scene in my dream that she came over to me and my husband's house. And this is the time that we actually have the big house that we want. And I wanted to show her, like, you told my husband not to marry me. Now look at us, Nabu. Ha, 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 ha. Like, God was showing me the ignorancy that I had in me towards that woman and the hatred that I had towards that woman. And... And I was also used to feel like, imagine if my husband didn't, you know, didn't decide to marry me. And the fact that he was, he was the person that helped me heal from my trauma, heal from my ex-husband. Because when my husband came in my life, I was trying to get over my ex-husband. It was the time that I was, I had locked my ex-husband up and, um, we was going through with the state like i had to deal with the state and my ex-husband was writing me letters at my apartment you know all of these other things and my husband now he helped me like he he gave me an ultimatum he was like either it's him or me so my husband helped me heal from my ex-husband he helped me uh, let go my ex-husband so my husband was sent by god to push me to my purpose because there wouldn't be no bruise when I broke in. There wouldn't be no I am Brenda J. There wouldn't be no TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram if my husband wasn't in my life. So all I kept saying, but what if, what if, but it's now. Like, what do I have now? Like, God was just exposing me of the things that I was holding in my heart. Not only, not only did he expose me to that, he also showed me like Brenda, girl you haven't even forgiven yourself from a lot of stuff that you did and i had to sit and think about it like oh my god i did not forgive myself for hurting this guy i cheated on you know what i'm saying and he exposed me to people and it got back to my parents and it hurted me because i was a child like y'all laughing and, and i mean y'all supposed to be church people y'all talking about me when i was a child but I'm holding something that happened 10 years ago. You get what I'm saying? Like when you think that you have forgiven those people, baby, nine out of 10, you didn't. Because there'll be some things that God will remind you of the stuff that you thought you forgot a long time ago. But then when something similar brings it up, you will feel like it will trigger you basically it will trigger you and it triggered me me doing this thing that i'm doing for y'all that y'all will see the end of the month it triggered me it triggered me and everything and everybody that i haven't forgiven they all showing up at the same time basically and i was just like wow lord wow like all i could say is wow like you really exposing me you're you're showing me things that I didn't know about myself. I'm preaching about forgiveness. I'm saying this, I'm saying that, and I haven't even forgiven these people. So one of the people he also showed me was my um, my my daughter, my second oldest, her, her real father, mother, him and the mother. And I just felt like as a woman, you should understand what I'm going through with your son. But instead, you are encouraging him not to be in her life. Heck, you're not even in her life. And you're the grandmother. But you want me to, you show up at, you show back at my house with some gifts and with a, with a few Dollar Tree toys and then expect me to let my daughter go with you somewhere? Are you crazy? You couldn't even protect your own son. So how are you going to protect my girl? And then you lied to me about what happened to him when he was a child he told me his dad told me so it was like i was holding so much against this woman and i didn't lay down with her you know even though she treated me wrong as a child because i met isabella's um sperm donor i met him in high school and his mom never liked me and i didn't know why until i found out why like he lied on me so much he talked about me so much um to his parents and his godparents and i was trying to figure out why these ladies so-called church women wasn't like you know and then when i first told her i was pregnant she she just really truly believed that her son would never sleep with me blah 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 blah, blah. and i was like well and i'm hiv positive so 
uh whatever he told you was a lie so when she um and then another thing that i was holding against her was um she had got a dna test now my baby wasn't even a day old we got home my baby ain't even slept in the house for the first time yet and she had did a dna test but i gotta go y'all but the, what i'm trying to say is ask god to expose you to yourself so that nothing stop you from going to heaven i love you guys i am brenda J. let me hear y'all comments at the bottom do you feel like you're holding on stuff that you didn't even realize you were holding on is there some things that you want god to do for you comment down below i love y'all